Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is a network topology. So a lot of people get confused over the word topology. It's just a fancy way of saying the way the network is laid out. So when someone sets up a network, they've got to make a decision on what they think will be best for the network in terms of how the traffic and the data is getting sent and what's the fastest, most efficient way, but also managing that network. And that's when they decide on what network topology that they're going to use. Now for your exam, the only two that we need to know about now is the star topology and the mesh topology. So we're going to look at those, but there are a few other topologies that if you're interested, you can also do some further research on. So the first one we're going to look at is what is a star network topology. This is a common mistake that a lot of people make, and the central device is what we call a switch or a hub. And a lot of people think it's the server, but that's not the case. You've got this central device, which is called the switch. Now, the switch is a piece of network hardware and all of your different devices, like all of your PCs that are attached, like your printer and things like that, they're all going to be attached to your central device, your switch. And it's what allows the communication between all of the different devices. Now, most commonly on your exam, you're going to be asked for the advantages and disadvantages of a star network topology, but you may be asked to draw one as well. But just if, if you are asked to draw one, then you need to remember that you've got this central device is going to be your switch. Don't put your server in the middle. And you don't need to do any fancy drawings uh, of like a PC. You can just do like a little box and then just write and label it. So PC, switch, just keep it simple. So for your advantages of the star network topology, uh, your network will continue to operate if a device fails. So think of it from a school's point of view. Let's say you go into a classroom and one of the computers has, for whatever reason, stopped working. Now the user can just move to a different PC, they can log in, and then they can still access all of their information. Whereas on older network topologies, if that computer had failed, then the whole network would stop working. So it's a really big advantage of a star network is that you can just move to a different PC and still access all of your information. So it's got really good performance because the switch is quite a clever piece of network hardware. There's very few, if not zero data collisions. And what that means is when you're sending data at the same time as somebody else, the data is not going to have any collisions, which slows down the network usually quite significantly. Because of your central device, which is the switch, data goes directly to where it needs to, then you're going to have very few collisions. Okay, it's a lot easier to add extra devices as well. So there's a proper word for this, which is scalability. And that is where you are increasing the number of devices that you've got on that network. So it's easily scalable. So you don't get asked this as often, but you may be asked for the disadvantages of a star network topology. So we need to know these as well. So first one is that it's actually really expensive. Now you've got a lot of cabling, you've got network hardware involved, and you're also going to need to pay a technician to maintain this network. So you've got the extra cost of employing someone to look after this network. So it's quite expensive. So that I'm actually going to put as a separate disadvantage that an expert is required. So if you had a very small business, you may not want to employ somebody else to come and operate this network for you. You might want to just do everything yourself. Whereas actually you need a bit of expertise, maybe a bit of extra training to be able to maintain one of these networks. The final disadvantage I've got for you is if that central device breaks, so the switch or the hub, then the whole network will stop working. So the other topology we're going to look at is the mesh network topology. Now, as you can see from the little diagram, you don't need a central device on this one. So you're already going to save a little bit of cost because you don't need to buy as much network hardware. All of the devices are fully connected. Sometimes it's referred to as a fully connected network and the data will choose the fastest route between those devices. So because it's fully connected, there's no single point that the network can break, which is a big advantage. Now as a disadvantage, because you've got so much cabling between all of these different devices, it is very expensive to, to set up. But you can have a wireless mesh, which obviously would save some cost on all of that cabling. That's all you need to know for network topology. So let's have some exam questions to practice. So question one, explain two advantages of a star network topology. Now just keep in mind, we've got that word explain in there and it's actually worth four marks. So you need to tell me what the advantage is and then why it's an advantage. Question two, Mr. Moore has set up a mesh topology instead of a star network topology. Explain one advantage and one disadvantage of a mesh topology compared to a star topology. And then finally, what is the central device of a star network topology? All right, let's run through the answers then. So explain two advantages of a star network topology. 
So network continues to operate. If a device fails, that will get you your first mark to ensure users can work for the maximum amount of time. That will get your second mark because you're explaining why that is an advantage. Few data collisions, so better performance, that's your next mark. This means that when sharing files, the network will run faster. So Mr. Moore set up a mesh topology instead of a star network topology. Explain one advantage and one disadvantage of a mesh topology compared to a star topology. So the advantage, no central device like a switch needed to connect all devices together, which will save cost. And for your disadvantage, initially expensive to set up due to having all of that cabling. And your final question, so what is the central device of a star network topology? The answer is a switch, or if you put hub, it will be accepted as well. That's it for this one. See you next time.